Hey guys, this is Xavier and I wanted to show you my new mobile photography studio. This is my Villa S5 and it can fit in my pocket or even my camera case. And I've loaded up an application called Google Picasa 3. This is a free application that you can download at google.com slash Picasa. It's not as powerful as Photoshop or any of the professional editing software suites, but it is plenty powerful enough to do just about everything most people want to do with their photos on the go. You can edit your photos, you can share them with friends and family, you can even order prints and GIFs uh, just using your finger or this little pointing device. Let me just show you really quickly how I can edit a photo and really improve it in a few taps. These are some flowers that I took photos of in my backyard this morning. And if I just tap on one of these, I can open it, review this photo full screen, which is nice if you want to show somebody a photo here rather than on just a tiny little LCD on the back of a camera. And I can see that this photo is too dark and it's just not the most interesting photo out there. So what I can do is I can hit this little uh, selection that says I'm feeling lucky and see what Google does to it. As you can see already, the photo's really improved. The, the, the flower is much brighter. You can see a little bit more of the background. But I want to see even more of the background. This is a slider called Fill Light. And just like this, you can sort of give it a virtual flash. Think of this as if I forgot to turn on the flash and I just want to use a flash now. What you can see is that the leaves really get brighter. This is still not a really, really interesting photo though. So we can actually tab over here to either tuning or effects if we want to make things even more interesting. Uh, one technique that's kind of cool is to turn the entire photo black and white except for one part of it which you, you, you'll leave in color. Let's try this out. I think that might be kind of interesting. So if we go to this one called Focal Black and White, we can then select where we want the color to stay. So what if we just left this part of the flower, the yellow, and a little bit of the gr green stem in color, and the rest in black and white. Go ahead and hit Apply. Now if we view this in full screen, you'll see that photo is a little bit more interesting than what we started with. Uh, now if we wanted to take things a step further and email it to a friend, all we have to do is hit email. We can upload it to a web album here with upload. You can print it on either your own printer or if you want to shop for prints, you can send it to your local Walmart, your local Walgreens or a bunch of other stores. You can even just click here to blog it if you have your own blog. You can also create movies etc. One thing that's really cool that you can do if you're going to be mobile and if you're going to use your uh, mobile in internet device while you're on vacation or just running around is that you can actually geotag your photos using Google Earth. So if I just tap here on Google Earth you can see that I've geotagged these photos to San Francisco which is where I took them. Obviously that's where I live and what you'll see is on Google Earth is as you take photos you'll start seeing more and more thumbnails pop up on your maps. When you click here, you'll see the other photos that you took there. In this case, I've already geotagged uh, this other photo of another flower. Uh, like I said, this is not the most powerful application. It's not the most powerful computer I own. But the cool thing about this is that this will fit in my pocket. I always have this with me when I'm taking photos now. It fits in my camera bag. And within a few seconds, I can just transfer photos onto here. I can edit them really quickly and have them out and shared uh, with the rest of the world. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for professionals that are trying to do high-end fashion photography or anything like that. But if you just want to share them with your friends on Facebook, if you want to upload uh, albums to the web, this is a really, really easy and effective way to do it. Uh, one way that I would definitely, one thing that I would definitely recommend for everyone going on summer vacation is to make sure you have at least two copies of all your vacation photos before you fly home. Uh, I've heard too many horror stories about people uh, losing their cameras while they're on their vacation or losing the memory cards or accidentally hitting delete. If you load your photos onto a mobile internet device, uh, you'll be safe and secure. Uh, the Villa S5 has a USB port built in right here. All you have to do is plug in your uh, digital camera or card reader. Uh, I take things a step further. I actually use a wireless solution called the iFi card. The iFi card is Wi-Fi enabled. That means it's the same thing that you connect to the internet with off of any uh, wireless computer. And what this does is actually loads pictures 
onto my mid automatically over the air. I don't even have to plug anything in. So as soon as I take a photo, it's loaded into my pictures folder, and then about a half second later, it's loaded into Google Picasa. Uh, this is a really, really cool solution. It uh, helps out with geotagging. Uh, photos are automatically geotagged, so you, you don't have to take that extra step to go into Google Earth. And uh, this is my new mobile photography studio. If you want more info about how I put this together or which applications to, to use, uh, go ahead and head over to midstories.com. That's M-I-D stories.com.